Hello guys, welcome to Noah's Tech Info. So today, I'm going to be teaching you on this Cisco Packet Tracer course, uh, episode 2, how to create a basic network. So without further ado, let's begin this tutorial. Okay, so I'm in Cisco Packet Tracer. Now, I want to create myself a basic network. So, to keep things as basic as possible, I'm going to be using some of the following, or the following materials. So, first of all, I'm going to be using a home router. Second of all, I'm going to be using a 2960 Catalyst Cisco switch. Third of all, I'm going to be using two PCs, a laptop, and a printer. Okay, I may also set up a WAN connection as well, so we can go out to the internet by using a DSL modem and a packet tracer cloud or internet box. So. Let me run through all of these things. So first of all, we have our cloud, which I'm gonna put over here. The cloud is the internet. It basically simulates the internet with DSL uh, capable connections going into it, ethernet coming out, other way around, etc., etc. Second of all, we have our DSL modem. What this is going to do, this is going to make sure that we have like a bridge, if you like, between our router and the internet using the DSL to Ethernet connection here. Third of all, we have our home router, which is the first sort of like area for our home network. I'm using a home router as it is the easiest to configure and actually doesn't really require any configuration at all. Fourth, we have our Cisco switch. Now, while this can have configuration at a Cisco ILS level, I'm not going to be using it in this case, and I'll probably use that in the next episode when I begin to run through what the Cisco ILS commands are for a basic network in terms of a router or a switch. Then we have our two PCs on one side. These are going to be connected via a wired Ethernet connection. The printer is also going to be connected via a wired Ethernet connection. The laptop on the other hand is going to be using wireless technology to connect to the home router. So without further ado, let's begin to create the network and make it come alive. So first of all, I'm going to plug a DSL cable, so the phone cable here. I'm going to drag it from the cloud and I'm going to choose modem 4. Then I'm going to put it into port 0 of the DSL modem. You can also use, uh, as a demonstration, uh, just here, you can also use a cable modem and you can use a coaxial cable in order to connect to the internet as well. But we're just going to leave that to the side, as that's not the main focus of this video. So, back onto this. We're going to leave this as it is for now. I'm now going to continue to set this all up. So now I'm just going to focus on the main network. I'm actually going to create a box here. And I'm going to have it fill with a colour. And I'm going to choose sort of bright blue. Baby blue almost. Okay, and this is our local area network. And I'm actually going to put down a note here as well, and I'm going to call it local area network. Okay, so now I'm going to make sure that the wireless router or the home router is all set up. So I'm going to hop into the home router, and I'm going to hop into GUI, graphical user interface, and we can see some of our configuration stuff here. So this is the IP address of our router. 192.168.0.1 You can change this to whatever you like. 
The star IP address for DHCP is going to be 192.168.0.100 by default. And I'm allowing a maximum amount of 50 users to connect via DHCP. That's how we're going to leave it for now. Now I'm going to plug the copper straight through or standard Ethernet cable into from Gigabit Ethernet 1 into the Fast Ethernet 0 1 port on this switch. You can also see that there are two lights. This light here on the bottom sim uh, basically tells, us, tells you if the connection is working or not on this side. And the same for this side. If we were to speed up the process by pressing on this button here, you can see that they will now go green, which means there is now a successful connection between the two. So now I'm going to set up PC1. I'm now going to grab my copper crossover, sorry, my copper straight through cable, and I'm going to plug it in to Fast Ethernet 02 on my switch, and I'm going to put it onto Fast Ethernet 0 on my PC. You can now see there's a successful connection on the PC side and the connection is getting ready on the switch side. If I would speed it up, then all is well. You can also just wait for this to work, but if you want to speed things up, then do press the fast forward button just here. So now I'm actually going to configure the PC. So I'm just going to hop into the PC here and I'm going to click on config. You can also choose desktop, but I'm going to use config, config as it's a bit more widely used on other devices. So I'm going to choose fast Ethernet 0, and you can see I have my IP configuration here. This is what it's like if I were to go into control panel, network settings, change adapter settings, and choose the IPv4 properties. This is the exact same. So I'm now going to go into DHCP, and it will now most likely give me Yes, there we go. 192.168.0.100. So now we can close that. <clears throat> and I'm now going to do the same for PC1. Once again, copper straight through cable, fast Ethernet 0 to fast Ethernet 0 3 on the switch, speed up time, go into the PC, config, fast Ethernet 0, and I'm once again going to change it to DHCP. This will go to 192.168.1, sorry, 0.101. There you go. So we can now close that. And I'm also just going to connect the printer, if I actually can, just for the hell of it. Once again, going to do this. Config, fast Ethernet 0, DHCP 103. No, 102, sorry. Sorry about that, got a bit confused. Okay. So that's the wired area net. Uh, that's sorry, that's the wired network now done. We now need to focus on the wireless section. So I have my laptop over here. Now, if I were to press on the laptop, if you were to look a little bit closer, we're going to zoom in. Now you can see it actually has an Ethernet interface here. Sorry, this one. That's the uh, I think that's the console or something like that. Anyways, you see we can have we have the fast Ethernet zero interface as you can see over there, fast Ethernet zero. Now, if I want to change this to something like the WPC three hundred N, which is the wireless interface, I will need to first of all turn off the laptop here, take out the interface, take this module, plop it in there, and turn this back on. And I think by magic, as there's no authentication, we can actually just connect straight away. But let's say we had to have authentication. So I'm now going to go into my wireless router. And think of this as like your home router. I'm going to go to wireless, basic wireless security. And I'm going to enable it to WPA pers WPA2 personal. And I'm just going to choose the passphrase as NTI. Not very secure. But it works. So you always save your settings. Ah, oh, must be minimum eight characters. Okay, that's all right. We have to change it. 
I guess so. So Cisco, 55. Explanation mark. Cisco. Let me actually copy and paste this. Oh, no, we actually can't. Cisco, 55. Cisco, 55. Explanation mark. We can now hit save. And you can see all is well. So, I'm also just going to change the network name to NTI Net. And I'm going to do the same for this one NTI Net. And the same thing here NTI Net. And make sure you hit save. And now we are done. So I'll hop in back into here. There, you can see it all stays. That means all is well. And of course, the laptop has been kicked off of the network. So now we have to go back into this. If we were to go into config, this would not work. So instead, what I need to do, I'm going to go into desktop and I'm going to choose PC wireless. This is going to show us the interface of our card or our wireless NIC on our laptop that we installed earlier. So now I'm going to click on connect. I'm going to hit refresh and we should see the network pop up NTI net. We have multiple different bands, as you can remember. I'm just going to choose the one with the most amount of signal. And I'm going to hit connect, and it's going to tell me what the pre-shared key or password is. You can also choose the different types of security. I choose WPA2 personal, so I'm going to use that. And now I'm going to type in my pre-shared key of Cisco 55 explanation mark. If I now hit connect, if you watch very closely over here, you can see that we are now connected to the network. And we can see on the um, system here, 192.168.0.103 has been set. So now that's all super fine and dandy, let's run a quick ping. So I'm now going to go from PC1 to laptop 0. I'm now going to go into the desktop, choose command prompt, and I'm going to type in ping. 192.168.0.103 We can see that we're getting a successful ping here. I can also ping the router 192.168.1 Oh, sorry, 0 0.1 And you can see that's all working. And you can also see how latency has also been emulated within Packet Tracer as this is going through wireless while this is going through wired. I can even ping the printer. 102 and you can see that everything works fine so we can now hit x on this and x on that and now without further ado we can get the last copper straight through or standard ethernet cable connect it to port 1 on the dsl modem and connect it to the internet port on our router and you can see we now technically have internet access <laughs> And that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, this is the second episode of the NTI Learning Cisco Packet Tracer course where I teach you how to create a basic network. I hope once again that this video was helpful. If you would like to request a video, you may leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me any ideas you thought of during this course. If there's anything else you want me to add on uh, for future videos, then do let me know. You can also hit the like button, and also if you want to hear even more from this channel, then I hate to ask this, but do get subscribed. Um, anyways, join me next week where I'll be releasing the third video of this, and where I'll be creating a second network, and we'll actually connect the two together, and we'll have a successful ping. So, with that said, this has been Noah Tech Info. If you want to check us out, also check us out on our social media at Discord, Twitter, and Instagram which are the links in the video description. And coming soon, I also have a new knowledge base website, which is on its way. It's not really being constructed by me, but I just need to get around to it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.